Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I want to show you how to create patterns using purely CSS. Now look at this pattern, uh, the yin yang pattern and this was done purely entirely through uh, CSS3. How amazing is that, isn't it? But I do not take the credit of having created uh, this pattern or the others that I'm about to show you. Uh, I've actually uh, come across an amazing source amazing resource and I would want to share it with you <coughs> now uh, people I would urge you to note down this URL uh, I'm not pronouncing it uh, simply because I'm not too sure how to pronounce it but the URL is right in front of you and uh, you should actually uh, bookmark it because I think it's really useful for all you web developers see the different uh, CSS3 patterns we can actually create people how very amazing and see how very lightweight they are uh, when there is a brow you know there is a um, HTTP request for example have a look at this pattern 409 bytes this is 310 bytes uh, this pattern called V by this uh, author is just 372 bytes <coughs> right so name of the creator then and uh, you know the, uh, the the name of the design the creator and the number of bytes that it actually utilizes for that design is actually shown out here and uh, this looks amazing by Marta Mother, I think, and this Madras pattern has been created by my fellow Indian Divya Manian, and uh, it's just 1.51 KBs. So look at how intricate uh, you know the pattern is. Now the good news is, people, let me share the good news that you don't actually need to know how this was actually done because the code is out there ready for you. For example, if I um, click on the tartan pattern. The code is presented right here. All you need to do is say a control A to select the complete code, then say comp uh, you know a control C to copy it up. <coughs> and then I'll tell you how to paste it and where to paste it and how to implement it in a little while. I've actually uh, copied it onto the clipboard. I'll come back, uh, I'll show you the implementation uh, in a separate new file completely. But I would want to tell you if we go you don't need to know how this was actually created the code is big and long winded you see it's it's, it's going to be real difficult for me to explain and for you to understand how this was actually done it's a big chunk of code people and who really uh, wishes to you know bang their heads and really get to into the detail of how this was done rather than uh, getting to know how it actually happened we're just interested in making it happen isn't it and we need to know the browser support of course uh, these patterns should work in Firefox 3.6 plus Chrome Safari 5.1 uh, and ab above Opera 11.10 and uh, IE 10 plus right so you should go through the uh, you know literature given out here right -o. now let me show you the implementation the you know the how to actually uh, make it show up let's say for your division it's so very simple people right so I'll be working with sublime text today and uh, we'll be doing it right from the very beginning so I'm gonna select the whole code I'm gonna hit the delete button to dump it to scrap it right so I can actually redo it all over again and show you how easy it is to actually do this right so let's say HTML colon 5 now people uh, I'm using Zen uh, I'm using Emmet it's a code assist package uh, my sublime text 2 is uh, Emmet enabled and that's the reason I'm able to expand the code by hitting tab out here you see you need to write the code in a certain format and then hit tab or sometimes control E to expand your code but if you don't have your uh, sublime text or your edit editor either Zen coding enabled or Emmet enabled these are basically uh, you know uh, code assist packages people or code assist uh, 
plugins that allow you to code real quick. You can code out the normal way, the slow way. But I am coding out the smart way, the quick way, right? And you should too. And there's a procedure through which you can enable uh, Emmet for Sublime Text, you should actually check up uh, some other tutorials on YouTube and they will tell you how easily it is actually done. I'm not going to take you into that. Right. So the title by default has been set to document, which is okay. I'm going to leave it as is. <coughs> now, after the title tag, people hit enter and write style and hit tab to expand the code. Okay. So in between the opening and the closing style tags, you should insert your uh, CSS or internal CSS. Ideally it should be external but for this example since it's a very small example I'm gonna keep it internal or embedded right. Uh, now let's get inside the body of the document let's create a division which is gonna uh, hold the pattern. So I'm gonna write hash box right I would want to have my div uh, grab the ID box I'm gonna hit tab the moment I do that, you see uh, the code expands. So I have a division with an ID of box, which means I need to define my box somewhere. It should be defined out here in the head of the doc document uh, embedded inside the opening and the closing style tags. Right. Let's start off by giving uh, my box or my division some declarations, some CSS declarations. <coughs> right. So tab, tab say width of 500 plus a height of 500 and let's hit tab to expand the code again people I'm you know if you th this sounds strange simply because I'm using Emmet and it follows a certain format and then you can hit tab to expand your code so you see we have a width and uh, you know a 500 height of 500 basically what we have created is uh, just a perfect square or a perfect div hit enter and then if you remember there's some code lying on the clipboard people I'm gonna paste it out here so that's control V so control A to select the whole code uh, you know from any of these patterns so you just need to select your pattern you know select the code say control A and then control C to copy it over and then uh, in sublime text you need to paste it after defining the width and the height you just need to come and paste out here and you're actually done it's that simple people if I save my uh, document up bring the browser up and let's uh, refresh to take a preview people you see I have the tartan pattern in front of me and how easily uh, that was done <coughs> let's change the pattern so you get a better understanding uh, just in case you have not understood how things are done let's take up another pattern let's take up a very simple pattern that is you know it's uh, simple it's subtle and yet I like line paper uh, size is just 209 bytes by Sara Backhouse thank you Sara I'm clicking on this pattern and again I click anywhere out here where the code is I say control A to select the whole code control C to copy it I'm going, gonna go back to sublime text and after the width and the height people I'm gonna scrap the whole code that's the first thing alrighty uh, hit the delete button I'm gonna paste uh, the code that I'd, I've brought over out here and uh, next people let's save the document up this is uh, you know pretty compact just a few lines amazing and then let's bring the browser up let's uh, refresh my document to see okay that's wonderful that's amazing so we have the lined paper out here in front of you and how easily it was actually done again people uh, let me show you the URL you know I don't wish to go wrong that's the reason I'm not pronouncing it simply because I'm not too sure how to pronounce it but it's an amazing resource people take a note of it uh, I'm gonna zoom on the URL so you can actually grab the URL properly you have so many amazing uh, CSS3 patterns by different web authors who have actually authored these uh, gradients right amazing simply amazing people it's absolutely there for you to implement on your projects absolutely free and uh, inject some steroids onto your web page people some nitro boosters and set it on fire
So I hope you uh, found this information useful. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.